nights at sea, the memory of tonight is going to be about the only thing we're going to have to keep us warm. What do you think, Lee? Not much to think about, Terry. The only thing I know for sure is, I'm on overnight liberty. I'm not going to have to see, think, or smell this ship again until I get back in the morning. And that goes double for that Ensign Hamilton. So I guess it doesn't matter much what happens with the girls. Anything after I step off the end of that gangplank is better than what I have now. I think you're local. I can't wait to meet them. And you heard what they said. Did you, Eddie? And don't be late. And if you don't get a move on it, Lee, you're going to make us late. Have either of you two ever been out on a date before in your life? Of course. Just because I'm a country boy don't mean I still don't know what's what. That's one big affirmative for me, too. What do you take me for? Well, let me ask you then. Did you always show up at their house on time? Yeah, so? Me too. That there is what you're supposed to do, ain't it? What you're supposed to do is not the point, fella. Here's the point. But you lunkheads won't get it. When you got there, were they ready? Not to my memory. How about you, Terry? Now that you mention it, I don't think I ever went to pick up a girl. There she was. Boom. Just sitting there waiting for me. But Lee, I just don't know what you're driving at. Yeah, you probably found yourself sitting on the Davenport staring across at her dad as he pretended not to notice you while he was reading the newspaper. Oh, yeah. I can sure remember what that felt like. Yeah, like it was yesterday. Okay, now, and you tell me if I'm wrong, guys. While you were sitting there on the Davenport, scared stiff, watching Dad's beady eyes occasionally glancing over the top of the edge of the newspaper, this girl's mom is in the kitchen cleaning up the dishes. But on her way to the kitchen, after she had greeted you at the door, she walked by the staircase and yelled up, telling her daughter that you had arrived. Then you were escorted to the living room, where you just had to sit there, nowhere to hide, or what seemed to be an eternity, and all the time you felt like you were being scrutinized by her father. Partner, you got that one right. Don't even like to think about it. Nope, don't even like to think about it. There's a reason for all that stuff, boys. Well, I sure would like to know what it is. Yeah, there's just no good reason for a fellow to be put through all of that. Now, here's a real scoop, fellas. You see, it's not like they really mean to leave a guy hanging like that. It's just that they're incapable of being on time. In their mind, they just always seem to think there's one more thing they have to do before they leave to go somewhere. Of course, that thing leads to the next thing, then the next, and then next, and the next. Yeah, I think the only thing you can count a woman to be on time for is their own wedding. Weddings? Oh, no, no. That there's not for this cowboy. <laughs> Me either. No plans in this kid's future for getting married. That makes three of us, fellas. And I'll tell you this. On the score of being on time and weddings, you can be sure of one thing, pals. The ladies will not only be on time, you can bet every penny you've got in your pocket that they'll, for the one and only time in their lives, be early. Well, boys, looks like I'm ready. If you guys are waiting for me, then you're already late.
dancing. dancing. Broadway. 